Hey everybody, welcome to Kego Lasso. We have a great one-on-one -on -one interview with Javier Hernandez, Chicharito, as he returns with MLS and the LA Galaxy. It's a great chat as he discusses how he feels for the new season, his expectations under new manager Greg Vanny, and so much more as he hopes to return LA Galaxy to where they belong. Chicharito, Que Golazo begins right now. Joining us now on Que Golazo and CBS Sports is Javier Hernandez, lovingly known as Chicharito, Mexico's all-time scorer, an incredible resume, and of course, LA Galaxy star striker. It's a pleasure to chat to him as the LA Galaxy prepare for a new MLS season. Chicha, ¿cómo estás, compadre? I'm good, I'm good, very good, thank you. For being here with you and Levia, let's chat a little bit. Let's, let's chat a little bit. See, I, I told Chicha we're going to do this in English and he's ready to go. So I know it's been a long day. So let's get going straight away, Chicha. First off, how are you feeling about this new season? Physically, mentally, where are you uh, as we begin MLS? I'm in a very uh, balanced and great spot, uh, and great spot to, to, to start the season, obviously. In all, in all, the, the aspects in my life, emotionally, mentally, uh, I'm being, uh, and physically, obviously, I've been preparing myself so much, so hard for this season. So yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And I know what, when I'm saying this, people think that I'm going to be promised and everything is going to be great. I mean, I know about sports and, and I've never been scared to say how I feel, how I see myself. And then hopefully I can just show that uh, day by day and, and game by game, obviously, no? that that's what we want. But of course, we all know that this is a uh team sport and we all need to do our best like we are doing it right now and we're preparing so well so yeah the the future looks looks brighter for us yeah no that's really good and to be honest the only reason why i asked you aside from the football chicha, chat was also because we've been going through a COVID pandemic and i wanted to just see how you were your family personally because at the end of the day this is about human beings and people and not just about the game amen <laughs> Amen, compadre. Listen, you have, a, <laughs> you have a new coach in Greg Vanny, uh, obviously a very well-known, respected manager in MLS. How has it been working so far with him? Amazing, amazing. I've been saying this uh, before in another interviews as well, that I want to uh, do a lot of emphasis in, in this, that a part of all his knowledge about like soccer, uh, skills, uh, drills, tactics, etc., etc., the way that, that he's managing the squad, the way that he can... Uh, uh, give you that 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 open book of of you do the, the things that you feel you want to do inside and outside the pitch like he sees you not 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 only as a product that we are a product and we need to, to 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 show that day by day if not you 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 can be replaced obviously but it's like he doesn't forget that we are humans you know we have lives and we all some of them uh, have kids none of them have kids situations in lives etc 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 the age that we have from where you come language like everything i think he managed so far he's managing the 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 squad and with with his coaching stuff so good so accurate that that's something that i want to to do a lot of emphasis that i think that's going to help us to to bring the best out of each one of our players and of my teammates to try to 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 develop our skills to improve the uh, day by day and then we can be we can fucking enjoy uh, playing inside the pitch be ourselves and then obviously hopefully we can get some some points since the start of the season and try to win as much games as we can so we can qualify to playoffs and then yeah get this club back where, where they where they belong you know this club belongs on the top of of the of the tables and, and fighting for, for titles. That's that's not what he's LA Galaxy about. Man, it's been a long day for you, but you got the energy. I love it. It's all ready to go. You're ready to go. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Listen, LA, um, I want to talk about the city for a second. I know it pretty well. I used to live there. It's the biggest, uh, it has the biggest Mexican-American community in the country. It's Mexico as much as it is the United States. And now that you know the city even more, do you feel that? Do you sense that energy? Uh for oh, sure for sure man it's amazing it's amazing all 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 the the mexican the people living over there and all the latinos over there too it's like it's unbelievable it's amazing i, I love i love that city that that's why i that was one of the of the of the things that, that that's why i took this opportunity and massive opportunity to to come to pray for la galaxy because i mean it, it's it's just like it's like living in your country in a way sometimes you speak sometimes more spanish than english you know uh, even though, of course, because of my kid and the mother of my kid speaks uh, English and she's Australian. But anyway, it's like it's so 
easy. It's so easy in that way. And the culture, uh, the food, the locals, everything. The way the the way LA is, it's 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 perfect for me and for all the the Mexican uh, culture. So yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So May 8th, El Tráfico against Carlos Vela. I know that you've been asked this already today, and I'm sure you're tired of talking about it. But let's do it one more time, just for me, Chicha. You. On the other side of it, are you excited for this game? Is it just another game for you? What do you think? Well, I mean, uh, of course, it's a classico, and of course I'm excited because it's going to be my first classico too. Because I didn't play last last season because of my That's injury, right. because of the pandemic and stuff like that. So I haven't played against them in a classico. So of course it's going to be special. It's going to be so cool. And and like I said it before too, that hopefully on May 8th more people can come to the to the to the stadium. You know, because of course we miss them so much. There are a key uh, part of of this sport, no? people in the crowd with that atmosphere cheering up with the with their local team. So or even if you are away, to feel that that pressure and that that uh, the songs that they sing against you, stuff like that, it's amazing. You know, I've been I've been playing this sport since I was a kid. So of course we know that fans are are like uh, well, one of the best uh, parts of the, of this job. Sorry. <coughs> Oh, of course, of course. No, you're completely right. They're the bloodstream of this game. Absolutely, absolutely correct. Listen, uh, quick thoughts on this. Uh, MLS just announced their concussion protocol. They're going to have two subs in addition due to concussion. It's going to be a pilot uh, period. What do you think about that? That's cool. I mean, it's it's for for the protection of, of our health, you know, and I'm, I'm a guy who who suffered a few concussions in the past. So I think I think it's good when, when you take some measures to protect the, the human beings, like, like you said, and our health. That's one of the lessons that we need to take a part of this COVID and stuff. So I think it's a very good idea. We'll see how it goes, like always. And I'm always a more a open person than close. I always like to think out of the box and think inside the box. So it's like, I prefer to, to, try, to try new things and see how they go than, than, than just stay in the most classic and close way. So let's see, let's see how it goes. But the intention of it, I think is very positive. Listen, final question, Chicharito. Ya sé que estás cansado. Let's get you a little sleep. Let's get you a drink. Let's get you some food. Let's relax. But listen, here's my final question. I began with this. Let me end it in a different way. I know that you feel good physically. You feel good mentally. Chicha, I know that obviously the obvious objective for LA Galaxy is make it all the way to MLS Cup. And as you mentioned, return it to where this club belongs. What's your personal objective what do you want out of this year do as much as i can to help my team doing that definitely and i know this sport and i know sometimes could be uh, scoring so many goals uh, be more of an uh, assisting guy uh, sometimes you probably don't score that much but like it's i don't know how this season is gonna go the only thing that i know is i'm gonna be in my best shape and I'm going to try to give as much or, or everything that I can to help my team to achieve that because every game is about the three points it, it's not about how many goals Chicha has or how many assists Jonathan has or how, how good Sebastian played or, or whatever it's about the score the score sheet it's about LA Galaxy gaining points and of course the way is like if I can help it's scoring goals. I, I don't know. With a lot of stuff about the, about this sport because I'm never being of a only thinking that strikers are only for scoring goals and that's it. So that's the only thing in my mind to help my team as much as I can, so we all can win as many games as we can. Wow, you're like El Conejo Energizer, man. You're just ready to go. I love it so much. Javier Hernandez, LA Galaxy, Chicharito, an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining CBS Sports and Kego Lasso. No, oh, thank you, man. Thank you for this talk. I like it. Take care. Hey, everybody. I want to thank Javier Hernandez Chicharito for joining me today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Que Golazo Pod. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, CBSSports.com. We are here weekdays, weekend previews, recaps, and so much more. Have a great, great rest of your day.